Hi, Bruce from Safari, and uh, this is the LC79 6x6 here. And we're going to show you just what we're doing inside here on the control side only. We're just one view here today. Okay, Tom, let's open the door. It's on electric struts, which we don't have running yet. Now, the other little feature that we've got here, which is quite new, is on the smartphone here, we can turn the lights on. So this is going to be the driver's side work light. And as I touch that on the app, you can just see that dot coming on up here. We haven't got the work lights wired up yet. And as I touch the next one, you can see the other lights coming on. So that's on the app, and uh, Leo will have that on his dash there in the front. But just watch this. We can also turn these on and off from this switch here. So we can actually activate the, the uh, light switch back there, and they're 30 amps per circuit, and it's a FET control device. So absolutely incredible power that we can control on that. That's a flashing red light just to tell you that everything's running. So no fuses needed on it. And we have it both on the smartphone app and also on the switch override here on uh, controlling it. So the way to control these switches is it from inside the cab and we didn't have it set up for this original video. Let's have a look now at someone else. This is the Garmin Tread XL Overland Edition. It's a 10 inch screen. I've only just put it in the vehicle. I'm still going through it. I'm still seeing, you know, what it all is actually going on on here. It's got in-reach built in, so you've got your satellite communication actually built into it as well, so you don't need to carry another dongle. It's pretty incredible. So easy on the eyes, the brightness is amazing, The just the build quality is fantastic. They really know how to make good products. I'm very... Now there are four ways to switch devices. Firstly, from uh, the driver's seat, just touch the Overlander display scroll to the switches and turn devices on or off from the smartphone app touch the app um, and uh, select the switch and control the devices including dimming uh, the third way is the two control inputs where you can switch those on and off and then the fourth way you can actually reach into the actual controller itself and uh, touch the hard buttons on it as an emergency backup i've got to say how good is that